Hello everyone, this is Curtis with We Whack a Lawn Care. Hey, I'm back again with another lawn care video for you. Hey, I'm back out here again in this here lawn. What I'm going to be doing, you, you know, that lawn care work, mowing, edging, trimming, and blowing, and all of that. We're going to get it looking good, as we always do. We get in there and we make them look good. So as you see right now, I'm having a little... Uh, a little adjustment that I need to do there on the trimmer there but you see the equipment that I'm using here I'm gonna be using that I got my Ryobi mower and I got the Ryobi trimmer so I'm gonna be using that to uh, get this here lawn all taken care of here today as you see right now what I'm doing is I'm using the Ryobi trimmer to get those weeds down as you can see right here it's uh let's see going on probably about two and a half weeks the last time that i took care of this here in lawn so i just wanted to share it again with y'all i'm back out here mowing this again to uh make it look good again for the customer you know them weeds are going to continue to pop up so when they continue to pop up then you have to go and knock them back down as you see what i'm doing right here i'm knocking them back down so you know when you have we little weeds consistent work consistent work because you know when you have a home you're always working to uh keep the place all up and beautified i mean you you just gotta do it you gotta do it you just gotta get in there and work at that lawn to keep it looking clean and give a a, a, a good clean appearance and that's what we're doing right there i mean here you just got to stay on top of it i mean stay on top of these lawns and so right here this this is not that far for me so i just walked down here and i said i said well let me go on and get this here all taken care of today get it back looking good and that's what we're gonna do here today i'm gonna uh get it all mowed up i'm gonna get everything all edged up and everything hey right there guys i, I something here I, I think something in the soil something other got my leg got kind of itching right there so i gotta stop here a minute and uh tie my uh shoes a little shoelace that came loose so i'm gonna tie it tie that don't want to fall down so i want to keep standing so i'm gonna tie my shoe strings here so that i'll be all right okay so now we're back again right here we're gonna uh, get this here all the uh, edged up and all. i'm trying to get these weeds down so right there i'm gonna reach over and i'm gonna try to get some of those weeds out the flower bed there for the customer uh we we'll just want to get that you know if we can we're gonna try to get a little bit of that out of there so right now we're just going on over here and we're gonna edge this here i'll put our little bit right here oh yeah we're gonna get that all taken care of right here yeah, we're going to go on back over here. We're going to get that all edged down right there. And we want to get what we want to get these weeds. We want to get them knocked down. That's what we're doing. So right over here, I'm going to be knocking down a little more of these weeds over here. I see some over in the flower bed over there. So I'm going to see if I can uh, get the trimmer over there and try to get some of those knocked down there for the customer just you know you you want to get that 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 line care that clean appearance in the lawn so that's what we're working on to give it a, a good clean appearance oh you just and, i mean to do that you just gotta uh, have an eye for detail and look at it and see if you can just stay uh focus on what you're doing and just hit every little spot that you know while you while you're walking hit every little spot that you can while you're there so I, I spotted that over there in that flower bed. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to knock those little weeds down that was popping up over there in that flower bed. So I'm going to get that down for them. And uh, I did. I got that down. So now I'm going to carry on. And uh, I see some more weeds in the lawn. So I'm going to try to get those down too. Just going to get them all knocked down right here. And right up now I'm back over here. So you see right in there. Had some more of those little weeds that popped up over there. So I'm going to see if I can knock them down for the customer. Get those out the flower bed. Just kind of tidy the flower bed up. I'm not really doing a thorough cleaning. Just knocking some weeds down in there. Now a lot of these weeds, when it gets hotter, when it gets up to about, I want to say anywhere around, around 85, 90, 95 consistent heat. A lot of these weeds will die out um, the, um, what it is is uh, they can't stand a lot of heat 
So these are like these uh, winterized weeds that um, that are standing up now. But when that heat get to them, it's gonna dry them out, and it's gonna really, you know, it it'll level off. So, but you know, meanwhile, while it's cool, these weeds keep popping up, and it just really messes the lawn up, gives it a a bad look. But as it get hotter, and you know, we're approaching that. I mean. As we get around in April or May, it's gonna uh, it's gonna really get hot, and a lot of those weed, winterized weeds will, you know, they'll die out, and it'll get back really nice and green and all. But like I say, like right right now, they're gonna keep popping up because it's cool, and you know, especially right around here in Texas, you get a lot of these old tumbleweeds that want to start growing in their lawns, but we're going to knock them down here. So we're going we're gonna to make it look good. We're going to make it look good. So you see right here what I was doing, I'm, I wanted to go over there and it, uh, trim that down, knock that down. And as you notice, I was edging it. So I want to go back over that so I can give that good clean appearance. Just knock that down on the, on the edge right there you know from the uh curb to around the uh the sidewalk area there just get that all uh taken care of right there so you see I'm, I'm walking it down right here getting that all uh trimmed up there getting that out you know get it all trimmed up i want to get that trimming part out the way there most definitely so i'm headed over here on the other side of the driveway See if I can get this here all trimmed up over here in that area there. So I'm I'm edging that right there. It's gonna take a few minutes to walk that down there, get that all edged up and everything. Um, yeah, yeah. It just takes a little time here. Spend a little time getting that edge on there, right around the uh, the driveway area, and all the way to the curb. So that's that's what I'm doing right there, getting that all the way down to that curb right there and you know just walking along walking along and getting it yeah and i'll go back over it again so i can knock the little you know the little the little weeds that pop up on there that's standing up sometimes the more may not get it right on the side doesn't you know give a good clean cut right up right up against that driveway so sometimes you have to use a trimmer just to uh trim back over that to give that good clean topping uh trimming there so once we get that done, then you know we'll we'll want to um yeah as I say again you want to spot stuff that needs to be taken care of like I was looking in the driveway and I seen some little sprigs of grass in there so I want to get that all knocked down out of the driveway how you know you want to see if you can get any little sprigs of grass uh, just weed eat that out of there if you can you know what I mean there's no car or nothing around so it's okay to kind of do that now if there was a car there i wouldn't do this i wouldn't try trimming that because you know you don't want to pick up a rock and hit the car or anything or one door or something or this but it wasn't anything there so i'm okay for it doing that right there on the edge of that port in the driveway knocking that little grass out of there okay so hey I, I i got that all finished up there guys so now i want to get the mower right here and uh I want to go over it with the mower here. So what I'm going to be doing right here, I'm going to be mowing it run one way and then I'm going to be mowing it another way, crisscross. Because what happens is a lot of these lawns with these weeds in there, they'll pop up after you run a mower over. They will pop back up. And so going a crisscross, I, I feel that uh, I didn't miss anything. So hopefully I'll get those weeds knocked down by mowing it that way so right here I'm just walking this on down and getting it you know getting it down just walking it down you know chopping it down with the mower here and I must say you know I really enjoy my little uh, Ryobi mower I know I read some of the comments and some people saying hey I wouldn't be out there walking nothing down they don't want to walk in <laughs> guys it's not that bad it's not that bad this is a little light more and it has a self propel now i could push the self propel button on it and walk behind it and it will um it'll pull itself but what happens is when i do that it takes and drain the battery down you know i, I don't want to i don't want to drain the battery down i, I mean it ain't 
it ain't hurt me to walk it because the moor is so light and I can push that, you know. Like, I mean, I really can push it. That's what I'm doing. I'm just pushing it. It ain't that bad to push that. You know, it's not hurting me. You know, if it was hurting me, I'd go get one of my other moors. I'd go get one of those big moors that I have. You know, the skag that I have. I could get that or, or get the right moor that I have and really just run through this if I wanted to get through with it real quick. But I'm, I'm not in a rush. It's cool out here, so I can walk this here down as you see me doing here with this here more. And I mean, this this more here is uh, enough more just for, you know, like, like a little consumer more, home use more. These, these are really great. I really enjoy it. Because uh, I have mowed a number of uh, lawns using this here more here. And I've, I've, I've shared a lot of videos of me using this more. And I, I tell you, I have really been enjoying it. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not a bad more at all. And, you know, it's getting the job done. I must say that uh, I have um, mowed. Ooh, well, let's just say I've got my money back, what I put into it to uh, purchase this more. And when I was getting the more, it was for a test purpose. I didn't have any electric more, so I said, well, you know, I'm gonna try me an electric more and see how, you know, I will feel about it and so forth. I feel good about using the electric more because I, hey, I just charge the battery up and uh, I carry on. And, you know, I don't know how much it's costing me just to charge those two uh, high capacity batteries up, but, Maybe it's not because it and well no, it can't be that much and they charge me that much because I pay like twelve cent per kilowatt. So yeah, I'm not spending that much. And you know, I'm locked in and, you know, with your electric bill, you, you catch them when you get a locked in contract for about twelve cent. I used to get a seven cent, but they went up, so I haven't been able to find one for the seven cent per kilowatt. But hey, I'm I'm loving that with the twelve percent. And, um, you know, charging it up, it ain't, it's not that bad. I don't think I'm spending that much money for it. It's been charging that battery up on there, those two batteries, and with the trim and all. So it can't be that much. But anyway, it's still a savior. It's cheaper than, you know, as using a vehicle to go get gas and burn gas to go get gas and all the gas and all, uh, no. <laughs> so I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm really saving by using this because it, it benefit me you know I'm, I'm, I'm not spending a lot to uh, as we say get the job done you know you're not you're not spending that much so just you know spending a little energy there where I'm uh, I'm using a little muscle a little leg muscle there and well you know it's a win-win I'm getting exercise and uh, I'm uh, just building myself, strengthening myself where that I can stand uh, for long hours and uh, move around for long hours, you know. And I'm not getting tired, so hey, I'm building my endurance up, and that's the way you do it by staying active and in the lungs and moving. As you know, in your body, you want you have to build muscles because you'll get weak and you can't withstand hard work. And as you know, like your heart, that's a big muscle. We don't want to have a, a weak heart. So we want to take care of our heart. So by moving around and strengthening our, our heart and our body and our muscles, then, you know, we, we can withstand certain things, you know, because some people are like, oh, man, I'm tired. I know some people say, I wouldn't be, oh, man, I would not be out there walking that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. Now, guys, you know I got some faster mowers and heavier mowers. Now, if I was mowing a lot of lawns, no, I would not waste time with this type of mower. I would have one of those bigger mowers and running behind it and getting that, done, getting it, getting the lawns taken care of. But I'm not in a rush to finish anything, so this is this is just fine for me. I mean, this this little mower here is just ooh, really fine. I mean. Hey, economical and all, oh wow. Now, now if I was still doing a lot of lungs, I probably would invest in uh, a commercial battery uh, more to uh, 
do lawns. I feel, you know, I don't know how long the battery would last in a commercial. I, I, I would say I probably it probably would last a good while, um, you know, to uh, power the mower. I don't know, but I don't own one. But if I was still out there, I, I would definitely invest in uh, heavy duty commercial. Uh, walk behind more if I was still doing it. And I'm not doing this no full time, so I just do this like um, on a call basis or just helping some customers and all. And uh, I'm, you know, just doing that. Like I'm back here again. As I say, I think it's been probably about two and a half weeks, and I'm back again mowing this year alone because of, due to the weeds it popped up and all. So that's what I'm doing here. And I just wanted to share this with y'all again of. Uh, you know doing some lawn care work out in the lawns because you you see this stuff it keeps popping back up and uh, I keep going back and doing it and it's just on you know on a consistent basis here now you see this property that I'm mowing here now I've been mowing this here property uh, a long time I think I started back mowing this property back in the 90s I started out I was helping my dad he, he had this lawn and I think I got to meet the uh, the first owners that owned the property, and then later on, I got to meet the second owner that owned the property, and then and as they stayed for uh, some time, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years, then they moved. Then I got to meet the third owner of the property, and uh, I'm still mowing this new property here, you know? and, and that's kind of the way it is in lawn care if you get in the right areas sometimes you can have some long time uh, customers and all and you'll get them mow as long as you like the mow if you like mowing you may have some long time customers where you'll end up mowing the yard for X amount of years and that's 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 basically what happened here. I I've just been mowing this for X amount of years and all. I uh, you know I got into it by helping my dad, and then you know when my dad got down, then I just kept doing it, trying to help him. I hope he get back better, but he never did. So I just kept doing it and doing it, and that's what I'm doing now. So now some of the other oh, let me see. Now this the new ones. No, my dad never did get to meet them, but the other owners the first owners and the second owners my dad did get to meet them because i was with him uh when he was doing the lawn and i would i i wouldn't had a push more that's all my dad everyone he went had a push more and we would push more this yard so it was like uh you know you're talking about rough that was rough because he never like all the mowers that i have my dad never did have those type of mowers he just had a regular push mower he had a Honda and uh, what was that other one he had? It was uh, the FJ. I still had that one. Uh, it was another one. But he had the Honda and that's what he would use. He used the Honda and then he used to use those Sears Craftsman mowers and those things wouldn't hold up. And I mean, he's, oh, nah, I would go with him. He would do all the edging. And I would do all of uh, the walking and pushing and all of that with the mowers. And they would self propel And they would get the, you know, they would get the job done. But I done a lot of walking. Now, you take, you take more than 10 yards a day walking them down. Oh, ho, 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 and it's hot out there. Woo-wee. <laughs> that ain't nothing to play with. Woo-wee. But. Back in the day, they didn't have all this fancy equipment that they have now. So that's what we did. We walked them down. It was you talking about old school. That was old school there. Walking them down, walking them down. And uh, I mean, you talking about with a push more. You 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 mow fifty yards a week, just walking them down <laughs> with a push more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tell you that ain't no fun. And 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 when I went full time with it, I uh, that's all I had was that uh, was that uh, push more, put them in a the bed of the truck, and go more. 
and then as time went on then I decided to go bigger and you know get in the trailer and then get in a bigger more because I had a lot of accounts and I was trying to get them all taken care of so I had to upgrade and get out there and just do it and that's what I did I mean I was doing it guys I mean running and <laughs> I mean running from sun up to sun down and I was running seven days a week and you call hey I was on my way and oh here we go here we go I'm, I want to roll something back to y'all now things wasn't as popular back in the day I had to work off of a pager now you you, you working with a pager somebody would page you and then you, you, you have to answer that page. You call them back and all back in the day. That's the way it was working with a pager and more and lungs. And now, you know, things got more uh, upscale where you got the cell phone and you can get the message and leave it and call and all of that. So I'm from the old school from more. Yeah, think about it. You got to make you a list and you got to write everybody number down and then go back and call them on that list you write the address down it wasn't none of that google map and stuff no no you write it down you had memorization you remember what the phone number was and you remember what the address was that's the way i was working back in the day you know to all the other stuff we, we're talking back in the 90s that's coming on up with all this fancy stuff you know with the uh with all the google maps and all that no you might have to have a key map you know reading a key map take your ruler out and say you're located where and you're at such and such and what hundred block is that that's from the old school what i, I remember i had my key map and my uh, uh my ruler and that's what you measure it hey guys now i you know i had finished up and so now we're back here at the back and so what i'm gonna be doing back here is uh I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hold y'all long. I ain't gonna hold y'all long. So what I'm gonna do here is uh we're gonna speed it up back here. Yeah, we're gonna get this all speeded up because we uh we, we you know we, I stepped you through the front, but we're gonna get some speed back here in the back, man. We ain't gonna waste a lot of time through the video because I know y'all ready to go and I'm ready to go, and so that's what we're gonna do. We just gonna go. Here we go. Now we're going. There we go. We're going to get this edge and all taken care of. That's right. So we're going to spend a few minutes, but we're going to get the edge and taken care of. You know, I had to speed it up. Uh uh. Now nah, I got to get this all speeded up, guys. Now you see uh, over in the background, they had a forecast that we was supposed to be getting some rain around about 1 o'clock, but uh, got a sprinkle or two. But I know it's probably going to get some rain, but hopefully, you know, I'll get this all finished up before the rain comes, if it, if it rains. Sometimes they'll forecast that and tell you it's going to rain, and it may rain. And sometimes they tell you, and it don't rain. And you don't you don't put your work off. Sometimes, you know, you got to see it. Are you seeing this 100% chance of rain? Well, if it's 100%, I ain't going out there. Normally, they'll tell you 20%, 6% chances of rain and all and sometimes it, you know active upon it but it depends on what part of uh, the city you're in it may rain over here it may not rain so you got to keep busy now if it starts lightning and thundering I shut it down guys I don't I'm not gonna play around out in no lawn with no uh, lightning and thundering and sometimes you have some uh, lightning flash I'll back it down it ain't worth it. I can wait till another day, you know, to do a lawn. But I see some people, they don't care if it's thundering and lightning out there. They'll go ahead and do it. I'm like, nah, I ain't going to do that. That No, it ain't even worth it. And I've gotten caught in situations where I was out mowing a lawn, and I'm right at finishing the lawn. And one of them thunder clouds came over me dark and just poured down rain all on. I was like, I don't believe this. But it happened. And the forecast was it was going to be all sunny, no chances of rain today. It rained. I say they didn't get that right. It rained. Then later on they said, oh, yeah, this came in. We wasn't looking for this, but it came in from nowhere. I'm like, oh, boy, okay. 
So sometimes you just don't know. But my thing is you got to stay busy while you can stay busy. And lawn care, because it's a seasonal base, you know, we're right in March. So we got six months to October. And so within that six months, if you out there doing lawn care, you got to work hard to uh, make it for the six months. And I mean, you'll stay busy. Now, when I was doing it, I stayed busy. I mean, busy. But I'm, I'm not busy now. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm taking it easy. I'm taking it easy. That's why you see me walking with this little mower right here because I'm taking it easy. I'm not doing that. I don't have no schedule. I don't have no uh, X amount of lunch that I have to do. And, uh, in a timely matter no I don't have that to worry with no I'm just doing this one here and getting it all taken care of because it's nearby and I could walk over it and like I was telling you earlier I I've, I've, I've done this property a number of times and over the years and from way back into the 90s until now and so uh, is nearby now if I had a drive then uh, I don't think I'll be doing it no no let them I'm not gonna mm -mm. don't want to lie to them no because I got other things that I'm, I'm doing now so as as taking it easy and just you know doing stuff you know stuff I, I didn't get a chance to do when I was out there all the time doing it but as you can see, we're getting close, guys, so we're finna slow it on down now. So we're finna get up out of here, and I hope y'all have enjoyed the video, and I hope y'all have enjoyed me uh, narrating this here video for you. So, But stay tuned. I will be back with another video soon. I'm out of here for now. Bye.